Oh, no, yeah. there's no question about that. He, said, uh, he, this ought to be he uh, insisted that, uh, yeah. that Block get a patent because yeah. this looked like a very good technique. And yeah. Block was mm -hmm. saying, well, yeah. uh, you know, this will only be interested in a few physicists uh, that want to measure magnetic <laughs> moments, and then it'll be over, and <laughs> maybe a few will measure magnetic fields. But that's it, and there's not much interest. In, Russ said that, uh, well, he really thought that, uh, uh, that there was a, a great thing there. This could look at different nuclei, and so it's good for chemical analysis. And yeah. so he really insisted that Bloch get a patent, and that when he did get the patent, uh, that uh, Russ was planning to start a company, and that uh, he would like to take a license under the patent when he started his company. And so they finally agreed, and Russ mo wrote most of the patent. And yeah. you can tell this just by reading the patent, that uh, mm -hmm. the first claim starts out by s saying something, mm -hmm. uh, uh, technique for measuring, uh, for chemical analysis, I think, were the words that he used. And then down about claim 16 or 17, it, it also got into measuring magnetic fields. <laughs> but. Uh, mm -hmm. The first thing in his mind, basically, was, you know, was chemical analysis. Now, of course, at that time, uh, the chemical shift hadn't been really seen, but uh, <laughs> there, there were the different nuclei, and uh, were that. NMR could certainly distinguish well between mm -hmm. the different nuclei, and then as time went on, of course, the chemical shift came along, and the spin <laughs> coupling came along, and it became much more powerful than... Maybe he even first imagined it. 